Alrighty then, it's time for a team battle new new and this video will be used for quite a bit of ranting Which is mostly because a lot of things that happen in this game are rather dead air and are mostly just subtle Anyways, the build I'm taking with Nunu is a very support oriented one. I'm going 0, 18, 12 and maximizing cooldown reduction as much as quickly as possible. My runes as does sort of reflect this, taking attack speed, armor, movement speed quints, and then cooldown reduction blues. The whole idea is that you can see that I have Trinomir and Callista, and I'm going to be maxing out Blood Boy as quickly as possible after rank 3 on my snowball just to make their lives better. We're gonna try to go for a mid-game rush or something like that. Anyways, you saw that I didn't use any of my smites for my first clear, so I could use my smite on the raptor, and I will have my spite up for the red. I went for raptor just to stick out whether Hecarim started on red. Turns out he started blue, so I invade him, he shows up. I start beating him, and then he just sort of runs off, and he I don't know, he should have just kind of given up. But now it ends up forcing out his uh, summoner spell, and he still was gonna lose uh, uh, out against... Uh, gets red because I have to consume smite. Uh, I could have probably chased him down a little bit more and maybe killed him, but I wasn't going to risk it. I'm just going to, you know, just take what I got, go back and just, you know, control mo most of my jungle. Right now, he, Hecarim is in a bad spot because all he got was his uh, blue buff, he got beat, he lost his summoner spell, so he's rather weakened. Also, the Trinomir seems to have been working over the Kled rather hard. I don't know the, what the matchup is or whether Kled does anything because honestly this is like the second game I've ever actually seen him. Even when he was released, he was either banned or even when he wasn't, people didn't give a shit to play him. So Kled is... I have really no opinion about him. Anyhow, I'll tell you this much. I've been playing a lot of... Um, I've been playing several ranked games and uh, I, 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 got, I remember telling you guys that in the preseason, stomps which is very abundant, right? Well, now it's just kind of very much dredge kind of games where a lot, very little happens. It's just kind of eh. so. Uh, it see, there might be the play, the champions that are rather predominant right now, sort of promote this very sluggish playstyle. But I, I've seen that most games really don't. They don't really achieve that amazingness that used to have in certain games. But whatever, that just might be me having my games. I don't know about you. But just my games have been a little bit tad on the boring side. And it like, kind of comes down to one player not failing. And and if they fail, you just kind of lose. Whatever. That's why I've kind of tried playing some more uh, champions that make sure... Or at least babysit players. Or give value to their or teammates. Like Nunu, I've been trying to play him more and more. Even though he's not the, not one of the better ones. Because in this particular game, I'm dual queuing with a buddy. Yeah, you don't queue. And I'm just trying to make it so I feed him powers because I, I've tried playing carries and I've tried doing other things. And just kind of junglers in general, without the cheesy little red shit, can't really do very much. By the way, here, we go full stupid. Like, I, I, I was backing off a little bit and then he my TV engaged and I kind of went with him. But I shouldn't have even gr been grabbed in the first place. So all of us just went full stupid right there and fucking died. So that was really bad. Anyways, as I was saying... Yeah, well, I, I've tried playing carries, Kha'Zix, Jarvan, Olaf, and stuff, and it just kind of feels I can't really do very much with those kinds of junglers right now. You're either some kind of supporty kind of jungler, or a hyper snowballer that just kind of forces the victory, not someone that sort of, you know, it's just your front line that helps it out, something like Jarvan, occasionally killing some things, though you, I, you could get fed as Jarvan, I mean. Either way, as you can see right now, this entire game, I'm just running around trying to control. I, though my my death at bottom lane kind of reset a lot of the things I, get, I managed to grab early. Well, either way, my build this game was going to be particular, but my uh, my friend was telling me I shouldn't go too ham on it. I was actually going to go with the Zeke's Herald very quickly. With the idea, again, just to sort of feed the Trindomir all this power and let him just go ham on the enemy team. By the way, here we just kind of chump it out and die. Uh, just to feed a lot of power to the Trindomir, but my friend convinced me, you know, you should go for a, a Locket of the Iron Solari because, you know, the only real threat they have to him is the Syndra. And I guess the Twitch, well, we could easily control the Twitch or have him ignore him, so whatever. But yeah, Zeke's Her my my original build was going to be something like Iceborne Gauntlet and or, and or Zeke's Herald and just kind of be a, like, just juice up my teammates and just slow the enemy down to a crawl while they get all this benefit from Blood Boil. I mean, blood boil. Like I said, something like Blood Boil is very subtle. You, you, if unless you're paying attention, you won't really know who has it cast on because I, I don't know if they've ever updated the animation. The zombie one has a very, very clear vomit from the mouth of the opponent, uh, in which it tells you. But a lot of people don't really know the ability or how much actual power it gives you. 
Yeah, I think it's somewhere around the ballpark of 2.5 or probably more accurately like 2.350 or something like that a worth of gold, right? At max rank. So give it to someone like Callista or give it to someone like Trindamir and that's a shitload of power. Like you just can see the the Trindamir, where you'll you'll click it, I'll click on him later, and you'll be able to see his attack speed. It's actually on the lower side. He's just he's he does have the static shift, but eventually he's going to just be doing straight out damage. But when I give him the blood boil, he gets about 0.4 on his attack speed, and that's pretty massive, all things considering. So he goes ham. I know, spoiler alert, I guess, but it's just sort of to highlight what the build I'm going is for. And of course. I'm going for the Cinder Hulk because otherwise I, I kind of wouldn't very, really do very much. Although I was thinking maybe Runic Echoes just to do a little bit more damage, but that that's just kind of wishful thinking. Anyways, you can see Trindamir is already going ham, just kind of ass blasting a lot of people. Here we go for the Twitch, but then I noticed that the, the, the Thresh was coming, so I just run away. Because even though if we could have, if me and Zyra could have almost, you know, guaranteed killed the Twitch. The, the second Thresh shows up, my damage is drops to zero and he would have killed me. Unfortunately, we both died either way, so we probably should have joined in the fight anyways. Eh. Right now, the Clyde is 1 and 6 because the Trinomir is just farming the little bastard for him. And again, I don't know whether Clyde is actually good or not. I'm going to say he's probably not. That's why I haven't really seen any of them. But damn, he's getting fucking wrecked. I don't know. I, I little, No one ever talks about Clyde, so I have absolutely nothing to base him on. But either way... The main, one of the main things I was talking about is just kind of like, yeah, most games as a jungler have, they haven't been particularly bad. Yeah, I mean, it's mostly like if, if it's just certain champions just don't feel, uh, feel as fulfilling as they could be. Like if you're playing someone like uh, Jungle Nautilus, who I, uh, who I played, I actually had a blast because it sort of feels like a champion like him is pre doing pretty well whatever he's kind of played. But when I was playing someone like Olaf, I just kind of felt like I wasn't doing shit. Anyways, I ping because we can't know where the Hecarim is and we slow him down to a crawl and yet again he actually thinks he can outsmite a, a Nunu. So he pretty much pays for that for his life. I mean, if he had run away, if he just abandoned Blue, he might have been able to survive. But either way, you can see Trindamir right now with constant Blood Boil spam and then I share it with the Callista whenever the cooldown's back. It's just pretty brutal on the enemy team. This is what I was going for. Like, this Nunu and my team in late game probably wouldn't match up the enemy's uh, ability to just absolutely wipe us out. So, like, during the champion select, I picked Nunu rather early with the idea that I was just going to be, you know, kind of a, a fatty tank and just be that kind of nuisance. But when I saw that the enemy team was going to was going with a very late game initiating explosive team, I decided to alter this and I told my team and I told my friend, let's go for the mid game, you know farm up some really strong items and let's use blood boil to win and it worked out i mean it's not very obvious for a lot of people because these kinds of artificial gold enhancements aren't really that you know flashy or explosive but the amount of power you give someone and also let's not forget the movement speed is pretty damn good especially against the enemy team who kind of just needs to you know who, who would get sh who can't really handle this kind of menace that early, especially I know Trindamir has 10 fucking kills, but you know, that's kind of a, one of the bigger factors of us kind of dominating them. But yeah, the Blood Boil is just kind of helping him teeter him from really fucking strong to absolutely batshit insane. Although in this case right here, he just kind of span into, you know, a death scene and he got himself killed, but he did at least kill the Syndra, so it's not a complete waste. He burned a lot of enemies' ultimates. Still though, um, I mean, Ascender, yeah. Still, though, like I said, I went full on supporty, controlled the early game rather quickly, made sure the Hecarim's effectiveness was pretty much waned, went around plopping and pooping some wards around, tried to clear as much as possible, and tried to add some buffer. And yes, I did die in a very, very embarrassing way, but hey, you know, that's what a support kind of jungler does. Something like that Ivern kind of isn't really doing, which I'm kind of sad, as you've seen that Ivern is kind of being played as a very different beast than the probably intended. Supportish still, but a little way more violent than you probably wanted him to be. Either way, the enemy team goes for the, the, the Baron attempt stop, which I mean, at the very, to be very honest, they kind of kind of really did need that. Although they weren't, they don't, weren't seemingly on the same page for that. So they basically get completely wiped out. So that's an ace for us. And yeah, the enemy team at this point is just deciding to surrender. I didn't actually get to even use my locket of the air in Solari or build the Zeke's Herald. You saw me build it and then have to sell it because my friend convinced me otherwise. But then, 
hey, Blood Boil Nunu worked out. Although, yeah, a lot of credit to the Callista and a lot of credit to the Trinomir doing well in the first place. This channel is supported by my sponsors, Crunchyroll and Loot Crate. Check out the description below for links to the websites. Signing up for any trials, including Crunchyroll's free anime trial, greatly supports my channel. Also remember to give the video a like to support the channel and subscribe if you haven't yet. I've also made a Patreon now and if you wish to support me through that medium then I welcome it. 